serving pieces, which items do you need? Uh, is this going to be a buffet? Is this family style? Those will also dictate what you need. If you're doing a buffet, your volume of platters will be larger platters, but volume will be lower. If you're doing a family style dinner or wedding or event, then you'll need you know one platter per table per item. So sometimes there's three platters per table or two platters in a bowl per table. You'll need bowls and smaller bowls for um, your condiments or your sauces or your dressing or a gravy boat. These are all then by table if it's family style. If it is buffet style, it's easier to replenish. It's definitely quicker. Um, you don't need as many staff to walk around either, which will save you on the labor. The catering company will provide or should be able to provide to you the size of these bowls, the size of the platters that are needed. Of course, the chafing kits, some of them uh, may you may need to rent. Sometimes the caterer has them. The serving spoons that go with them. Don't forget the sternos, which is the little flame that goes below the chafing dish to keep all your food warm. These are all items that you want to definitely take a look at and then you can move along with sometimes you want to have uh, like a little mini chalkboard there to identify what food this is or if oh this particular dish is vegan or this particular dish is uh, halal meat. It doesn't matter. Whatever you need to put on there can be put on a little chalkboard or you need to do printout of little uh, tent cards and put it with the food. Um, the other items with uh, catering uh, can come for serving would be your, your coffee, so a percolator or a samovar if you want to serve some tea, that way the uh, hot water stays quite hot with the sterno underneath. If that is required, is it to the table or is it going to be a station of like a coffee and tea station post-dinner or partway through the event or later in the event? 